Igneous rocks are formed by the cooling and crystallization of magma. Convection moves hot plumes of magma from the mantle up. When the magma is no longer being heated by convection, it cools and forms igneous rock. One type of igneous rock is intrusive rock. Intrusive rock is formed when magma below the surface is pushed up into the crust, but not completely above the surface. Then it cools between rocks. Another type of igneous rock is extrusive. Extrusive rock, dis rock is formed when magma is pushed through the crust and through a volcano and to the surface of the earth. When it's pushed to the sur through the surface of the earth, it cools on the earth's Volta Volcanoes can start out small. As they erupt, la lava cools, forming igneous rock. As lava cools and the igneous rock is formed, layers of the volcano are built and the volcano gets bigger. There are many distinguishing characteristics for igneous rocks. There is coarse-grained rocks, which are rough and have large interlocking crystals, as such as granite, for example. There are also porphyritic rocks, which are rocks that have large crystals in a, fine, in a ground mass of smaller crystals. Then there are fine-grained rocks, which are rocks with a lot of small crystals in, that are interlocking, but they can't be seen by the naked eye, such as basalt, for example. Then there are glassy rocks, which are smooth and polished, such as obsidian. Then there are frothy rocks, which have air bubbles, such as scoria and also pumice. Then there are felsic rocks, which are light colored and have lighter colored minerals, such as feldspars, and they are less dense than mafic rocks. Mafic rocks are darker colored, are made of iron, igna, and magnesium, and are denser than felsic rocks. There are many different types of igneous rocks, such as obsidian, andesite, basalt, granite, rhyolite, scoria, gavro, pumice, and diorite. 